What's up, Fihal? A child to Kevin, and this is a video response to the um, to the to Professor uh, uh, Jackson Crawford regarding his video, the Old Norse gods' names uh, in the days of the week. Okay, um, there's something I have to point out here. Um, uh, Jackson Crawford. Uh, well, before I, I say anything, uh, I I think your content is is uh, outstanding. You do a great job in what you do. Um, you know, uh, it's good to have channels like you out there, but um, th it's one thing um, I have to disagree with um, regarding the name, uh, the goddess, uh, it, well, uh, I mean, would, uh, that evolved into Old English, uh, well, as you say, Freya, but that, it, that in Old English is really the genitive form of it, the possessive form. And for those of you who... who, who don't know old languages um uh older languages like old norse and old english they, they they're inflected languages that they they have the the inflected case system just like modern german does just like modern icelandic does english dutch uh the english dutch don't have it uh sweden swedish uh, yeah you, you have the nominative and a genitive but you don't have the other you don't have the accusative and and uh dative well, he had data in some other dialects, but anyway, um, that's a tangent. But the thing is, for those of you who don't know how the days of work in Old English work, you know, you have Sunday, Sunandai. Sunan is the genitive possessive form of Sunna. Okay? And then you have uh, Tuesday, Tiwesdai. You know, again, Tiwes, the S part, is it's possessive. You know, it's T's day, if you will. You know, it's. Or Tuesday, you know, to you, or um, you know, depending on dialect, but uh, but that's for another video uh, or another discussion, if you will. Then you have Wednesday, Woden's, you know, you have Woden, then you have uh, Woden is the subject, is the nominative form, that Woden's is the um, possessive form, and then all a uh, you know, Thursday, a Thunrestay, a Thunor, um, and then free, you know, free and. Uh, you know, uh, Freya is the possessive form of uh, of uh, free, okay. And I say this because um, the 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 um, now now J Jackson Crawford. I say this because uh, the the B uh, Bosworth and Toller Anglo-Saxon Dictionary lists um, uh, uh, free alone, f just free as as uh, the nominative form and and. Um, and uh, Fria as the uh, I guess the, the genitive and dative and and whatnot. But um, yeah. Well, to, to another way for those of you who are really don't know what I'm getting at here. Well, think of it this way. It's like taking the name uh, Johns and thinking that's the name of that person. Well, no. I mean, Johns is is a possessive form of the name John. You know, it's it's John's car. You know, uh, you know, or John's uh, motorcycle. I don't know. I mean, so um, that's pretty much it. What I really want to say that, um, not, not. I mean, the uh, thing is, a lot of people, and I mean, a lot of people who are into like Anglo-Saxon or Old Norse paganism. When it comes to Anglo-Saxon um, the free, you know, you see Freya all over the place, and they think that's the name of the goddess. When you know, they think, oh, it must be the similar to Freya. Uh, it doesn't work like that, you know. Just because it's similar, no. I mean, um, all I ask uh, that that people uh, look into Old English uh, uh, carefully rather than make assumptions. Uh, yeah, there might be some similarities, but there's some differences too here and there. But Jackson Crawford, I mean, uh, hey man, uh, hats off to you to your videos. You do a great job. Um, is this only that little slight? thing i disagree with uh, the that the that the name of of, of the uh, of the goddess in old english is fria uh, i think i think it's uh i think it's a free but i, I but i guess the pronunciation can be debated because then you have the other variant of fridge uh which you know it could be free each all this long who knows but anyway but that's a that's a debate for another time but anyway um you know, I'll put. Uh, you know, I'll show on the screen here of of the entry where it, where it shows free, 
um, you know, and not fiya. Well, it has the e there, but it's not p part of the, uh, the the subject or the nominative form. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to, f f for those of you who just stumbled on this, uh, please subscribe. We make videos every Saturday and sometimes surprisingly throughout the week. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you really like my material, please um, uh, please uh, like and follow my Facebook and Twitter. And if you want to financially support the show, uh, please uh, become a patron at my Patreon page down below as well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.